What's up guys? Welcome back to 104 days of Beep Tweet Bot. I hope you're having an amazing day. And leave a like on the video. Basically, for those that don't know, I'm doing this thing called 104 days of Beep Tweet Bot, which is, which is where I upload for 104 days straight based on the Phineas and Ferb meme. Yes. Basically, come check us out. I'm doing a bunch of cool videos, kind of, you know, a lot of videos with my own little twist on them and just, you know, classic YouTube video ideas and stuff. So come and check us out. I'm working really hard on it. Basically, all right, so what we're doing today is uh, 33 teachers reveal the dumbest question a student has ever asked them. I don't know this website. This website is called thethoughtcatalog.com. I've used this website a few times. They have some pretty cool stuff on it. I don't know much about it though, but it usually pops up for the things that I look up and stuff, which is like funny YouTube video ideas and stuff. But I don't know what's on this, on this, in these 33 dumb questions or anything. I think it's gonna be funny. I laughed at the title of it. I laughed at the headline of it. Okay, so if you guys have ever asked a dumb question, let me know of them in the comments below. I promise you, I won't laugh at you. <laughs> I was one that kind of, uh, since I have ADD, right? I, did, I didn't really pay that much attention. So I kind of asked the question, you know, that usual question, like, Dude. then I ask a dumb, dumb ass question. And then I hear the class behind me. Since I sat in the front row, because I have ADD, I, I sit in the front row. That's what the doctor told me, like sit in the front row and then you'll uh, pay attention more and you won't be as distracted by many things. You'll just be set on the teacher, which makes sense. But behind me, it was so anxiety inducing because i hear the class go oh my dude are you oh serious? my god dude, are you serious? Oh my god. so like all that kind of stuff dude everything you name it it's happened to me that's why i stopped asking questions in class and i started asking when class was over <laughs> don't ask me how i managed all that time you know what i mean because whenever we had to go to another class, I was like, oh my god, I have to ask this question quickly. And if the teacher was talkative, oh no. <laughs> it, it was stressful, okay? So there's here's the first one. I don't know how this is going to happen. Does chocolate milk come from a brown cow or a black and white cow? And then it says, college student asked me if chocolate milk comes from a brown cow or a black and white cow. Wait, why does it say it twice? Chocolate milk doesn't come from... it. it yeah, okay. Do we know the answer to this? I hope you guys don't think that chocolate milk comes from a brown cow. A chocolate is a flavor <laughs> that you can make. Milk comes from all cows. <laughs> then the number two, why did they name a galaxy after a candy bar? That's stupid. Are these real? Why is there so many words in this dictionary? That was a high school student. I'm just gonna go until one of these make me laugh. Is it true that mermaids evolved into dolphins wait wait in seventh grade math were cubes discovered in cuba wait 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 if my grandma is dead am i still alive one of my middle schoolers asked me recently if my grandma is dead am i still alive i just gave him the look and went back to my lesson on exponents where no clue where that came from both his grandmas are alive no why did it wait wait can you just imagine just the teacher is just the teacher is just talking and just like you know going through the lesson plan it's a monday morning you know we're all tired we're all like pissed off and shit and and then just the student the student is just sitting there in a cold sweat just If my grandma is dead, am I still alive? Can you just imagine that, dude? Number eight, are all guys at NASA named Houston? I'm nine years into my teaching career and only one question has ever been so dumb. <laughs> so they were watching Apollo 13. The scene is when they first tell Houston that they have a problem and they show mission control and the student says something to her friend. Her friend says, you can't ask him that. <laughs> Naturally, my interest was piqued. I walk back and ask her what her question is. Are all those guys there named Houston? Oh my god. First off, how many guys have you met that are named Houston? Second, what are the odds that there are 40 of them in the same room? Gee whiz. <laughs> Shout out to this teacher, man. <laughs> Number nine, how did Hitler get to Berlin from Australia? Wait. <laughs> No, it actually says Australia. It actually says Australia. Oh my God. I did a walking tour in Berlin. Someone asked the guide, what's the worst question you have been asked? He said, well, this guy from Australia, after the three hour tour was finished, asked, okay, 
So how did Hitler get here from Australia? He hesitated and said, Hitler was from Austria. The dude looked confused and said, yeah, so am I. <laughs> so I'm wondering why he came all the way to Europe to do all the things he did. The tour guide said he almost felt bad, but he had to be honest. Australia is a country that you're from. Austria is a European country just next to Germany. So for those who didn't know, you know now. <laughs> and this was submitted by some dude 456. <laughs> why doesn't California just drink the ocean water? Oh my gosh. For those who don't know, do not drink ocean water, okay? Do not drink the ocean water. It will hurt you. <laughs> it is so salty, I can't even. All from the same girl. Oh no, it says all from the same girl. We were in Washington DC and at the end of the trip, she had to have a teacher point out where we were on a map because she thought we were in Washington state. She asked if rocks were living organisms. She asked why California doesn't just drink the ocean water. In all honors classes, somehow, just not the brightest. Well, that's kind of mean. <laughs> that was kind of mean. <laughs> Do you want us to write our names out in English? <laughs> like in a I bet I'm not even gonna read what it's about right now I bet it was like in a Spanish class or a French class because that's the language that we have to learn when we're here either French or Spanish I bet it's one of those things man your name is your name in all languages <laughs> unless I'm missing something but other than that your name is your name just like I <laughs> just like I learned recently <laughs> that numbers are the same everywhere <laughs> Uh, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna laugh at these people, not me right now, okay? <laughs> Unless you guys are in the comments right now just dying laughing. Do you want us to write our names on it in English? I still have no idea what she meant, the teacher said. She was born and bred in Texas and comes from a long line of Texans. She hasn't learned any other languages and she has never been outside of Texas, they said. And I still have no idea what she meant. I didn't even respond. I just stared at her in disbelief. <laughs> Damn, that person was confused. Okay, wasn't Mount Rushmore made by nature? I had a handful of middle school students insist that Mount Rushmore was a work of nature. <laughs> no! What do you mean? Would being vaporized by a nuclear bomb kill you? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm just gonna leave that there. If I read it out, it's if I explain it, it's just gonna ruin it. Wait, 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 wait. This one, this one is puzzling me. It says, what is an assumption? It was a question about a question. I was proctoring a university exam. Kid puts his hand up, I tell him, per university policy, look to keep this fair, I can't really answer any questions. You're to write down your assumptions about the question beside it in case something is wrong and it'll, and it'll be taken into account if it's marked if something is wrong with the question. University kid honors business program asks me, okay, um, sorry, what is an assumption? I thought he was being a smart ass, so I said, write down what you assume to be an assumption along with your assumption and it will be take. As I'm saying it, I see the blood draining from this poor kid's face as I realize he doesn't know. <laughs> So I stopped and said sorry, then told him to write what you think the problem is and with the question beside it. That sounds like me all the way. I just freak out whenever I get lost in class. Is anyone else like that? How did they put out fires before electricity? <laughs> Will we have to give speeches in our public speaking class? <laughs> I've had that question before. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> just gonna skip this one. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This says, can I get a deferment on my take home exam? Why are all the states mixed up? <laughs> Do people really like having sex with donkeys? <laughs> uh, uh, isn't Mexico north of the United States? <laughs> If I do well in the final, will it help my grade at all? <laughs> uh, uh, is a cell a molecule? Come on, man. No, man. Come on, man. Is Mexico part of the United States? What? No. If there is a New England, does that mean there is an old England? 
God, God damn it. God damn it. Let me read this one. If there is a New England, does that mean there is an Old England? I've been asked some form of this question every year. I teach high school in America. <laughs> Can you see the equator from space? <laughs> Student in my high school class asked if you can see the equator from space. The class went silent for a good minute. If a tsunami was on fire, would it still be filed under flood insurance? I mean, it's a good question. <laughs> Are we safe being right next to the greenhouse? My classroom is right next to the greenhouse where we go over climate change, carbon emissions, etc. And I said, greenhouse gases are dangerous to the atmosphere. A student asked with a very anxious tone, are we safe here? I asked, what? Quite worried at this point, the student followed with, are we safe being right next to the greenhouse? You mean the sun isn't a planet? And that was all that I read. That, that was all the questions, the dumb questions that I decided to read. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. I think, I, I think I'll do fine. I just, I can't read and, and it, it, it's kind of difficult for me to read. You know what I mean? I, I suck at reading. I hope it was not too distracting. So if you want another video like this, make sure you tell me, let me know with the like button or the comments or both. Make me feel special and do both and subscribe if you're new. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another banger video. Beep Tweetbot. Dude.